Look for sweet beer, anybody? Nice pop on it. It's lively. The glass, let's give it a pour. Stir it to this glass. Very nicely. Breakfast sweet. Bit of footage and we'll come back and we'll sample. No, I wouldn't do. Refreshing actually. Right, for those of you who don't know, put my back to the camera. Um, last week was my 25th wedding anniversary and went up to Norway, um, up to southern Southampton. So we've drove down there Friday, stopped there Friday night, Southampton, up towards Devanger, Flam, um, and Bergen, and one more. Can't think of the top of my head, anyway, it'll come to me. Uh, yeah, so, um, to Stavanger, um, lovely little place. Oh, it's quite biggish actually. Went in a bar, and I know Scandinavia is expensive, and it was, oh, it was, it was over ten pounds, twelve pound for it. Not even a pint. It's five hundred mil. Obviously less than a pint. It's five six seven, is it? Five six six, something like that. Uh, quite shocked at the price of the beers, so had a coffee. I don't want to spend twelve pound pound for one pint when you can make a batch for far less. Anyway, bad or buy. So brilliant day in, in Stavanger. I went to this place called Flam, uh, Flam Railway. Seemed through one of the fields. Beautiful place. Got loads of footage. So if everyone wants to watch in it, I will put some up on the actual holiday. That was really good fun. Um, just pulled into the. Field parked up and binoculars over the balcony. And what did I see at the bottom? Brew pub. And this was a glass from the brewery. That little bit of footage there, that's the actual, I think it's more for show. There's a bigger brewery further up, but yeah, little brew pub there. So, our um, price of the beers, they like 10, 11 pounds expensive, but got the taster. Was five beers. There's a wheat, a wit in there. Uh, I think it was coffee, porter, or stout, IPA. I did a little bit of footage, not too much. Um, so the tasters were five. There were five tasters for fifteen pound, but um, wouldn't only pay that. But it's really twenty fifth anniversary. I pushed the boat out, and um, 
in my wife like the coffee pot us winner there um, yeah so back to this wanted to make a wheat beer I'm not terrified wheat I'm not malted wheat what do I do um, plenty of grains pale malt I've got lager malt Vienna malt Munich malt got the hops so I came up with this idea from this book you guys have seen it River Cottage Handbook uh, booze by a guy called John Wright and inside is three recipes mainly um, wines that kind of thing but there's a few beers and he's got a, a puffed wheat beer so I thought I'd try something like that so, and I've tried a few of these over the time and I've told a couple of people they've not quite worked out and I used one time I used Weetabix oh that was an absolute nightmare don't ever use Weetabix to make wheat beer fellas because it just clogged and clogged it was in, in a bag and I lifted the bag up and it it ripped the bag that burnt on the boiler oh, nightmare so not to be outdone I thought what can I do what can I do I've got the I've got the I've even got the wheat uh, beer yeast I think it's the cross my loof is it crystal vice and something like that it's all right um I had a look around, I popped back down, and I found in Asda of all places malted wheaties. And they're even, see there, vegan. A lot of these breakfast cereals now, they've got honey in, honey loops, that kind of thing, or fruit loops, whatever you want to call them. Uh, yeah, so I found them, so these ingredients, where are we going? Whole wheat, sugar, malted barley. Now, it's got the enzymes in the actual grains to, to convert the enzymes in this to make it into a beer. So that's what I've done. Right, recipe. Right, so I've called it puff wheat beer, which, but it's actually malted wheat beer. So I've used... Um, it smells like a wheat beer. Very, very refreshing. So, if anyone wants to try one of these, you know, a few of you watching in the UK, you know, one of my beers, put a note, and if it's one or two, I'll send you both, and if not, if it's too many, I'll just pick a couple. But uh, yeah, so I've called it Puff Wheat Beer. So I brewed it on the 21st of the 7th, 19th, so it's, it's only a couple of weeks, not too far off. So it's Puff Wheat Beer, four kilograms of pale malt. This is for the mash actually. 300 grams of demerara sugar, two times 750 of the Asda malted wheaties, two of the boxes there. Okay, so I mashed in 66 degrees in 13 litres of water for 75 minutes. I dunked sparge in my other pot for five litres at 75. So we had 14 litres for the boil. And what we've been trying to do recently, you guys probably know, I've got loads of old. Not the grains are not too bad, it's the, the, the speciality grains and the hops you just need using up. So we've come up with this tool. So I've got Admiral Hops, 16.1 alpha acid. So they want too too bitter, just wants a nice level. So that's 10 grams at 75 minutes. I also added 200 grams of sugar, so that's in total 500 grams of demerara sugar. Okay. So last 30 minutes, another 10 grams of hops again, and 10 minutes, another 10 grams, it's only 30 grams of hops in total. So I um, also added the yeast nutrient and the protofort, that was a 10 minutes. Oh, do me adding this. Sometimes these things don't go right. Okay, so 14 litres for the boil, so I've got Admiral Hops, 16.1 alpha acids, 10 grams at 75 minutes plus 200 grams of the demerara sugar, so it's a total of 500 grams of sugar in the actual recipe. At 30 minutes, another 10 grams of hops again, same ones, and 10 minutes, 10 grams of hops, plus yeast nutrient and protoflock. Okay, so we actually got 32 bottles, 500 ml size. Um, so I put in my notes, looked straw, smells slight wheat, not massively, it tastes dry. Okay. Right, so 
Okay, dokie. So um, I gave it a 40 minute hop stand. That flame out obviously. Just just left it 40 minutes. Let it do its thing, come right down. So I added um so the fermenter 20 litres of cold water. It was bottled water, so it just cooled it right down. And we've got an OG of 1.046 and an FG of do you do somewhere here? Right, finished it finished quite dry. 1.008, so it gives an ABV of 5%. And my final tasting is taste um, sweet, malty, wheaty. These are notes I do every time, and sometimes they just blend into one, don't they? So, yeah. Um, results. So I've got a 5% wheat beer, well the glass one said about the glass one, so 5% wheat beer with no uh, wheat malts. Um, I'll put the recipe down below, you may have to tweak it yourself if you want to do something like that. But that's the glass from the brewery, that was £7, which bearing in mind the 330ml cans are £5, I thought it was quite a good buy, so yes, perfect. So. So if you want to try one, let me know. Send you one over. I've just got, got a bit of bite actually from the hops and obviously from the the wheat I think. It should give it a bit of something it wouldn't have had, a bit of should we say Junus Equa. Pardon my German. So yeah, um got that fellow. So I've got footage of the holiday on the boat, coming through the fjords. If you're interested, let me know. I'll put a mini video up. I know a lot of people want to just it's beer and nothing else so um, at that we'll leave it. Uh, long drive back. I'm not mentioning football today because you don't need to when you're the best do you? So yeah cheers fellas. Catch you on the next one. Have a great weekend.